I'm going to talk about photographic genres, classic and contemporary genres. My first genre is landscapes. I have a personal favourite photographer in this genre, Arto Sari, who is a Finnish skateboarder who then got into photography. He describes the landscape as open, barren and gnarly. His equipment for landscape photos consists of his camera and he waits for the lighting to be perfect. The first landscape photo on record was taken in 1826 by Joseph Nicefall and landscape pictures have been developing from there. This is one of my favourite Arto Sari landscape photos. You can see how he has waited for the sunlight to be perfect and there is a shadow on the branches as it's a certain time of day. The composition is dead centre and the sky is dark due to the exposure. This photograph is powerful and dark. The black and white makes your eyes attract to the dog instead of, let's say, the blue sky. I've spoke about classic genres, now let's have a look at a contemporary genre. Abstract photography is really interesting, and I've been looking at a work of Tony Sweet, who is a unique abstract nature photographer. This photograph I found on Tony Sweet's website is really interesting, because he has made the water look like smoke, and the rocks look really smooth. Tony's work is revealed on calendars, postcards, and posters. The second photo I look at by Tony is creepy and dark. The stairs are producing lines through the frame, but the shoes catch your eye first. I reckon this picture can be improved by slowing the shutter speed, then possibly getting a little bit of a mysterious blur to go with the theme of the scary de derelict mill. To conclude, both these genres and photographers I have chosen both take pictures of landscapes, but the styles are completely different. Both photographers can look at something and take the picture from their own perspective.